Hey everyone, thanks for joining us again on this channel. Today we're back with another heartfelt tribute video, and honoring some of the well-known actors who sadly passed away. We'll also take a moment to remember other stars we've recently lost. These legends made incredible contribution to their craft and will be deeply missed. Our thoughts and condolences go out. To theirs families and friends rest in peace, before we start. Please support our channel by liking this video, and subscribing to our channel, thank you. Tony Todd, renowned for his iconic roles in horror and thriller genres, especially as the haunting Candyman, has captivated audiences with his deep voice and imposing presence. Born on December 4, 1954, in Washington, D.C., Todd built a versatile career in film, television, and theater. After studying drama at the University of Connecticut and the Eugene O'Neill National Theater Institute, he began making his mark in Hollywood in the 1980s. His breakout came with Night of the Living Dead, 1990, which paved the way for his unforgettable performance in Candyman, 1992. Beyond horror, Todd was recognized for roles in popular films like The Rock and The Crow, and his extensive television credits include appearances on Star Trek, Xena, Warrior Princess, and 24. Admired by fans and fellow actors alike, Todd was known for his deep dedication to his craft and his warmth off-screen. He passed away on November 6, 2024, at the age of 69. His unexpected death saddened fans worldwide, leaving a lasting impact on horror and sci-fi genres. Tony Todd's powerful legacy endures in his timeless performances and influence on genre cinema. Bobby Allison was an American car racing legend, was a pivotal figure in NASCAR during the 1970s and 1980s. Born on December 3, 1937 in Miami, Florida, he became one of the most celebrated drivers in stock car racing, known for his competitive spirit and skill on the track. Allison was a founding member of the Alabama Gang, a group of drivers who dominated NASCAR from their base in Hueytown, Alabama. Throughout his career, Allison achieved 84 NASCAR Cup Series victories, including three Daytona 500 wins. His 1983 championship solidified his legacy as one of NASCAR's all-time greats. Allison's career, however, was marred by tragedy and injury. In 1988, a near-fatal crash at Pocono Raceway ended his driving career, leading to a long recovery and challenges with memory loss. He also endured the loss of two sons, both racers, in separate tragic events. Bobby Allison passed away on November 9, 2024, at the age of 86. Remembered as a resilient competitor whose contributions to motorsports left an indelible mark on NASCAR history. Genevieve Grad was a beloved French actress, rose to prominence in the 1960s, gaining fame for her roles in both French cinema and television. Born on July 5, 1944 in Paris, Grad's charm and talent quickly captivated audiences. She is perhaps best known for her portrayal of Nicole Cruchot, the daughter of Louis de Funès' character in the popular Gendarme film series, beginning with the troops of Saint-Tropez, 1964. Her role in the series brought her widespread recognition and established her as an iconic figure in French comedy. Beyond her work in the Gendarme series, Grad starred in various films across genres, displaying versatility and a natural screen presence. She also ventured into music, recording several songs, including the popular French version of Do Ré Mi from The Sound of Music, which showcased her vocal talent. Genevieve Grad passed away from cancer at a clinic in La Chaussée Saint-Victor on 8 November 2024 at the age of 80. Leaving a legacy as a cherished actress who contributed significantly to French cinema, her enduring roles and charm remain fondly remembered by fans worldwide. Judith Jameson, a trailblazing American dancer and choreographer, was celebrated for her profound impact on modern dance. Born on May 10, 1943 in Philadelphia, she achieved fame as a principal dancer 
with the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater, where her extraordinary talent shone in works like Cry, a solo choreographed by Ailey in 1971 as a tribute to black women. Her powerful performance captivated audiences and became iconic within the dance world. Jameson's career extended beyond her performances. She became artistic director of the Alvin Ailey Company in 1989, following Ailey's death, a role in which she fostered creativity and diversity, expanding the company's repertoire and influence globally. She also mentored generations of dancers and choreographers, making the Ailey Company a lasting beacon of artistic excellence and cultural expression. Judith Jameson passed away following a brief illness in New York City on November 9, 2024. She was 81, leaving a legacy that transcends dance. Her work, dedication, and artistic vision helped redefine modern dance, and she remains an inspiring figure in American performing arts. Janie Godley, a celebrated Scottish stand-up comedian, actress, and writer, was known for her sharp wit and unique voice in the world of comedy. Born on January 20, 1961, in Glasgow, Scotland, she rose to prominence with her observational humor and fearless commentary on social issues, quickly gaining a devoted fan base. Godley performed at numerous festivals, including the Edinburgh Fringe, and her work resonated widely, drawing acclaim for its authenticity and humor. Beyond stand-up, she was also an accomplished author, publishing her memoir, Hand Stands in the Dark, which detailed her challenging early life with unflinching honesty. In 2020, Godley gained further popularity with her humorous voiceovers of Scottish political briefings during the COVID-19 pandemic, which brought laughter to many during a difficult time. Diagnosed with ovarian cancer in 2021, she continued to share her journey with her audience displaying resilience and transparency. Janie Godley passed away on 2 November 2024 at the age of 63, leaving behind a legacy of courage, laughter, and an indelible mark on Scottish comedy and culture. Quincy Jones, an iconic American record producer, musician, composer, and arranger, was a driving force in shaping modern music across genres. Born on March 14, 1933, in Chicago, Illinois, he launched a career spanning over seven decades, marked by groundbreaking achievements in jazz, pop, R&B, and film scores. Known for producing Michael Jackson's Thriller, the best-selling album of all time, Jones also collaborated with legendary artists like Frank Sinatra, Ray Charles, and Aretha Franklin. He won 28 Grammy Awards out of 80 nominations, setting a record as one of the most celebrated music producers in history. Jones made significant contributions to film and television, scoring for films like The Color Purple and producing The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. His impact extended beyond music, advocating for civil rights and supporting young talent in the industry. Quincy Jones passed away on November 3, 2024, at the age of 91, leaving an unparalleled legacy as a visionary who transformed the sound of popular music and influenced countless artists and fans worldwide. Terry Garr was a beloved American actress known for her comic timing and endearing presence, born on December 11, 1944, in Lakewood, Ohio. She rose to fame in the 1970s and 80s with roles in iconic films such as Young Frankenstein, 1974, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, 1977, and Tootsie, 1982, the latter earning her an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Gar's career spanned television and film, with guest appearances on shows like Friends and The Sonny and Cher Comedy Hour as well as a multitude of film roles where she showcased her versatility and charm. In the late 1990s, Gar was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, which she publicly disclosed in 2002, becoming an advocate for awareness and research for the disease. Though her illness limited her acting work, 
she continued to make occasional appearances and remained active in advocacy. Terry Garr passed away from complications of multiple sclerosis at her home in Los Angeles on October 29, 2024, at the age of 79. She is remembered for her warmth, comedic genius, and bravery in facing her health challenges, leaving a lasting mark on Hollywood and fans worldwide. Tika Nelson, born on May 18, 1960, was an American singer-songwriter and the sister of legendary musician Prince. Growing up in Minneapolis, Nelson inherited a deep passion for music from her family and pursued a career that combined gospel, R&B, and pop influences. Her music career gained traction in the 1980s with her debut album, Royal Blue, followed by Moon Yellow, Red Sky in the 1990s. Though her career was often overshadowed by her famous brother, Nelson's talent and distinctive voice earned her a dedicated fan base. After Prince's passing in 2016, Nelson became more publicly prominent, speaking about their relationship and her own musical journey. She continued to create and perform, focusing on themes of faith, resilience, and family. Known for her warm personality and determination, Nelson was beloved by fans who admired her strength and individuality. Tika Nelson passed away on November 4, 2024, at the age of 64. She left behind a legacy as an artist who pursued her own path, resonating with audiences through her heartfelt music and loyalty to her family's musical heritage. James Earl Jones, born on January 17, 1931, was an iconic American actor known for his resonant voice and commanding stage and screen presence. His career began on the stage in the late 1950s, eventually earning acclaim in productions like The Great White Hope, which brought him a Tony Award and later an Academy Award nomination for its film adaptation. Jones became a household name with his voice role as Darth Vader in Star Wars, establishing his voice as one of the most recognizable in cinema. He also lent his powerful tones to Mufasa in Disney's The Lion King. Known for his diverse roles, Jones appeared in films like Field of Dreams, Coming to America, and the Jack Ryan series, amassing awards including an Honorary Academy Award, multiple Emmys, and a second Tony. He passed away at his home in Pauling, New York, at the age of 93. Jones left an indelible mark on acting and voice work, celebrated for his talent, humility, and influence. His legacy lives on in film, theater, and the voices he inspired. Kenneth Cope, born on April 14, 1931, was an esteemed English actor known for his versatility across film, television, and stage. He began his career in the 1950s, steadily gaining recognition in British cinema and TV. Cope's breakout role came with the character Marty Hopkirk in the 1960s supernatural detective series Randall and Hopkirk, Deceased, where he played a ghostly private detective, earning him a dedicated fan base. In addition to his iconic role in Randall and Hopkirk, Cope was also beloved for his appearances in the long-running British soap Coronation Street, where he played the charming rogue Jed Stone. Over his career, he showcased his range in comedies and dramas alike, including appearances in Z Cars, Dixon of Doc Green, and Carry On at Your Convenience. Kenneth Cope passed away at the age of 93, leaving behind a legacy celebrated by fans and peers alike. His distinctive style, humor, and memorable characters remain cherished in British television history. Will Jennings, born on November 27, 1945, was a renowned American lyricist whose work spanned decades in the music industry. He was best known for his collaborations with composer James Horner, crafting timeless lyrics for some of the most iconic movie songs of the late 20th century. Jennings co-wrote the lyrics for the Oscar-winning ballad, My Heart Will Go On, performed by Celine Dion for the blockbuster film Titanic, 1997, which became one of the best-selling singles of all time. 
Throughout his career, Jennings worked with an array of prominent artists, including Eric Clapton, with whom he co-wrote the Grammy-winning Tears in Heaven. He also penned songs for the films The Rocketeer, Courage Under Fire, and The Man Who Loved Women. Jennings' work was celebrated for its emotional depth and poetic quality, making him one of the most sought-after lyricists in Hollywood. He passed away at the age of 80, leaving behind a legacy of unforgettable songs that continue to resonate with audiences worldwide. His contributions to film and music remain cherished by fans and the music industry alike. Today, breaking news, Bruce Willis, the iconic American actor best known for his roles in action films like Die Hard, has been the subject of recent death rumors, much to the concern of his fans. However, as of 2024, these rumors are false. Willis, who retired from acting in 2022 due to his diagnosis with aphasia, a cognitive condition that affects communication abilities, remains alive. His family, including ex-wife Demi Moore and their children, have been transparent about his health struggles, which have evolved into frontotemporal dementia, a more severe condition. The false death reports sparked widespread speculation, but were quickly debunked by family members and reliable sources. Willis's career spanned more than four decades, beginning with his breakout role as David Addison in the TV series Moonlighting in the mid-1980s. He became a global superstar with his portrayal of John McClane in Die Hard, 1988, cementing his place as one of Hollywood's premier action stars. Willis displayed range in his roles, with memorable performances in films like Pulp Fiction, 1994, The Sixth Sense, 1999, Armageddon, 1998, and Unbreakable, 2000. Despite his action hero persona, Willis also took on comedic and dramatic roles, showing his versatility as an actor. Over his prolific career, he garnered numerous accolades, including a Golden Globe Award and two Primetime Emmy Awards. Though his health issues have paused his acting career, Willis's contributions to film remain influential, and he is celebrated as one of the most enduring stars in Hollywood.